So on solar games, where I don't know if the voltage is getting through, I just like to take um, whatever the voltage is, if it's 3 volts in this case, and then apply it to where the battery terminals would come in. Um, so here and here. And then just see if, uh, if applying an external voltage will actually get it to come on. And it does. So I know the issue has something to do with the battery terminals. In this case, the solar panel. Could be the wires coming in from the solar panel. Could be a cold solder joint. It's definitely just not getting the correct voltage. All right, so this is interesting. It almost looks like there's some type of short going on. If I don't touch just in the right spot, it goes off. You see that? But then if I remove it, it comes back on. So again, it's okay, fine if I touch over here. But over here, if I'm not touching in the right spot, everything goes off and the voltage starts to drop. And this um the display goes off just looking at what goes over there there should be nothing um no issue so all right let's let's work on it again okay so seriously this is like round three of trying to get this to stay working there's definitely something going on I think it has to do with um, this wire, the red here, the positive. Let me just kind of, this is much more stable. Putting it together is a little bit tricky for this one. I actually have to like put slip this in over those wires. I think it's there to protect it. Then I'm going to flip up the screen here um, and align it with these pads and everywhere. So everything goes in nice. Let's hope. I just need to flip this up. six in here all right oh my gosh it's unbelievable how many times I don't videotape things when I think I'm videotaping all right, so I have it all back together, and for whatever reason, it's not working. So I think it has to do with, see, if I uh, if I apply pressure, it comes on. But right there, there's that wire. I think it's the red wire, so it goes off. So if I apply pressure, it comes on. If I remove the pressure, it goes off. So I think it still has to do with our wire, which really sucks because um, it could be that the wire actually is broken inside of the casing, which is always a pain, um, but it probably just needs to be replaced and uh, work on that joint again. So I'm going to take a, another quick look at it, uh, but at least I know it's right there. That's the issue right there 
Okay, so I just tried something else and I tried squeezing on the other side and the same thing happened. So it doesn't matter which wire underneath I squeeze on. Um, it's, they're just, it wants more pressure in this area, better connection in this area. So um, that's what I'm going to look at, this area where I've been pushing and squeezing.